not. Yeah, so sugar in spinach. Trust me, it's you'll love it. Sugar and grits, I'm telling you. No, 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 no. That's okay, right, sugar everybody. Grits. Sugar and grits, and <laughs> here we are once again on Spot Hidden for Octung Cthulhu. Tonight is the night, the final episode. I know I told everybody, 9.30 Eastern Time, you know what? We like to make you wait and kind of go, wait, what's going on? What's going on? So now we're doing it nine or 9.46 Eastern Time. So, welcome everybody. Welcome the one surviving agent of KP and King Arthur and the Lady of the Lake played Oof. by Carly, Oof. Matt, and Trevor. Hello, welcome, guys, hello. To the final episode Hi. of Octoon Cthulhu, <laughs> our 21 uh, episode campaign that we've run on Spot Hidden. It is uh, good to be back as as a survivor, as a uh, single mom who works too hard. Yeah, yeah, single, strong Loves single her mother. Loves kids and never stops. That's the one. Um, and the what heart of a heart of a lion or something. I don't know. However, gentle the hands goes. and the heart of a fighter. That's the You're one. A survivor. You're from Texas. You Sweet. should know that. That's Arkansas. Sorry about that. Rest in peace, Eric P. Q. Hunter. Yes. Rest in peace, Anushka Dragomir. At least you got a heroic death. <laughs> oh, yeah. He died like a bitch. That's uh, right. And so we're going to cut to the chase because um, oh, I think everybody is waiting to see this awesome finale we have in store for him. Um, yes. Matt, you did such a wonderful job last night with Thank giving you. us not a 30 minute uh, recap, but almost an hour and a half recap of. Octone Cthulhu that we've played since June 6th, uh, and here we are on January 13th for the final episode. So I'm going to go ahead and get us right into it. I'm not going to ask you to give any other recap since you did it all last night so wonderfully. Thank God. So where we left <laughs> Thank you very off, much, Robert Velligan. It's good to see you, buddy. Oh, yes. Welcome, everybody in the chat. Welcome. Where we last left off. The agent of KP, Stonehaze, has been sent through a portal. When Stonehaze wakes up, when he opens his eyes, what he remembers is seeing the life leave Anushka Dragomir's body as Adolf Hitler shoots her. He also remembers seeing Pinky O'Connor lose both of his legs due to an air raid hours before these events. When Stonehaze wakes up, he is not alone. He is on a dark, ashen battlefield. The sky is filled with cosmic stars and cosmic rays. There's a large large moon on the horizon. Also on the horizon, on this mound, surrounded by a lake of flames and lava, is Hitler. But it's not Hitler. It's Yig. 
Yig, the Great One, was playing Hitler this entire time. And now he has shown his true form, the form that we originally saw him in our very first campaign of Dark Ages. He is a golden dragon, sitting on this mound, staring at Stonehaze. Stonehaze stands up, staring down this large golden creature. But behind him, the portal opens back up. And just like in Avengers Endgame, on your left, out from this portal comes King Arthur, played by Trevor Turner, and the Lady of the Lake, played by Carly Sims. Oh, so, man. real quick, Trevor and Carly, if you'll just give us a, a brief description of your characters, uh, and we will go from there. I am King Arthur, King of the Britons. Uh, I was just seeking the Holy Grail, and I had found it when all of a sudden I've been teleported into this ungodly destined dungeon with this giant dragon standing before me. I do not know what is going on. I do not know where I am. But all I know is I must fight. I like the enthusiasm. Excellent. What about you, Lady of the Lake? Uh, I am Merwin slash Lady of the Lake slash uh, Woman in the Water. Uh, I, she's kind of, you know, got her hair. She, she looks, still looks like Marilyn, I feel like. She's still got, like, the long, kind of wavy, curly, like, dark, blonde, light brown hair. She's just kind of, like, it looks wet. Like, she looks like she's drenched. She's just got water dripping off of her and, like, a little dress kind of clinging to her. But she's just, you know, she, she looks a little otherworldly. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and if you're wondering what Carly is talking about with Merwin, that'd be a great opportunity to go over to our YouTube channel where we have all the playlists laid out for you. And check out Dark Ages Season 1. You'll find out who Briseis, Merwin, and Daniel Smithson, those three characters, and their whole journey through Dark Ages. So this back- will absolutely have spoilers for Dark Ages. Oh, yeah. Well, the the first season. The first season. Uh, our quality, so. our and just to be pulled out of the idea of the game and story for a minute, our production quality was <laughs> half of what it is now, yeah, if not honestly. less than that. Yes, uh, we, we have come a long way since then. We certainly have. I think I was shooting on a camera that was 480, maybe not even that. <laughs> huh. Yeah. So, Merwin's back. Excellent. Back. Why do I have Twitch Prime? I don't have Amazon Prime. Anyways, continue. <laughs> <clears throat> Stone A's, you see these fellow combatants with you. You've never seen them before, but you can tell that they are not your enemy. Hmm. <clears throat> right. Right. Let me guess. We all got a mutual friend. And who uh, are you, young citizen? Oh, hell. Um, real quick, if uh, uh, Carly and uh, Trevor, or Lady of the Lake and King Arthur, if you would like to make an intelligence roll, um, I can tell you whether or not uh, you have a mutual friend with Stonehaze. I do. 69 versus 70. Oh, I was thinking of... Uh, I was referencing Yig, but yeah, that too. Uh, Lady of the Lake, <coughs> um, you know that you were sent uh, from your time period to the future by someone from the very, very distant future uh, named Alan Pendragon. Oh, great. Of course. <laughs> okay. I know not who you be. And Alan I Pendragon. I know who you be. You. Up there in Twitch. 
Yeah. Alan Pendragon uh, did tell you and explain the situation, uh, both King Arthur and Lady of the Lake. Um, and he did explain that he does know uh, our Stone Haze. Um, okay. But Stone oh, Haze. so King Arthur does know who I am. Uh, but you do not know Stone. Uh, you do not know <coughs> Alan Pendragon. Oh, yeah, no, I don't know who the fuck these people are. Excellent. Yep. Um, <clears throat> across the way, a couple of yards down the field, you see Yig piercing his eyes at you, Stone Haze. Good. So you've brought more. More to feast on. Right. Well, these two I had nothing to do with. But I can tell you right now, I had every intention of kicking your ass on my own. If it is a fight you want, then it is a fight you shall have. And we are off. If everybody will roll initiative for me, please. Oh, man. I missed my 80, I gotta say. Really missed my 80. <clears throat> and stone. also my sniper rifle. You're up, buddy. Excellent. So, we will give it to King Arthur first. You will go first, and then Stone Haze, then Lady of the Lake, and then Yig, the Destroyer of Worlds. Before doing so, Keeper, what uh, what is Stone carrying right now? What has he got on him? Uh, so, Stone, you do have all your equipment that you need. Heard. Heard. Take uh, it away, you, King. You last had... You have all of that. That would include, I would imagine, a very certain power relic. That is correct. Heard. All right, your majesty. Excellent. <clears throat> and as we take off in this grand battle, this arena battle, Yig throws himself up, flapping his dragon wings, and soars down right in front of King Arthur. Ah, Arthur. You thought that you had killed me once. <laughs> but look at you now. Surprised. You will kneel down before me, demon. I shall smite thee. Allah! And I take a swipe of my, uh, of my, uh, my Excalibur. Excellent. For a 20v7d. Oh, uh, shit. For a damage of 7. And uh, I rolled a dodge, but it's a basic success. So that hits. So 7 Oof. points of damage. Uh, you do have a second attack if you would like to go. I will use my second attack as a taunt. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to taunt die. him. You will not win this battle, Yig. You shall kneel before me and my weapon, Calibra. Yo, what? Hey, do you know this guy? Do we? Do you know each other? Yeah, um, we do. You're one of Pendragon's, right? <laughs> I think he's the Pendragon. He's currently fighting a dragon. No, I'm, I'm asking you. Me? Uh, you're one of Pendragon's. Sure, we'll go with that. You know the captain. Captain, okay. Califois, huzzah! Oh, I appreciate his enthusiasm. <laughs> Hope you share He's the same. Like this. I'm so and sorry. as uh, Pinky strikes and holds the weapon up. <laughs> Pinky. Pinky! I mean, not Pinky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Pinky's back! <laughs> I didn't, I, didn't wanna, I didn't want to change the overlays to make people think, wait, what happened to the characters? Uh, <laughs> but I probably should have done that anyways. But hey, it's final hey, episode. Who cares? We're here. Um, King Arthur, as you strike with Excalibur, or as you were saying, Cauliflower, uh, as you hold Excalibur <laughs> up in the air, you know, there is a gleam of light that bursts from it and a, a bolt of lightning is striking down on the blade of the sword as the power of Excalibur is illuminating your body. We go on to Stone Haze now. Stone Haze, it is your attack. Uh, 
Hmm. I should have been thinking about this. You you took so long. I was like, am I muted? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I <laughs> did felt I, did it I too. pull a London? <laughs> I felt it too because I am torn between two different things of, of the routes to take here. But let's uh, jump in with the same enthusiasm, just a little bit more suave. And uh, let's hold that shotgun at the hip on our right side with a trident on our left side and our left hand and go for a, a blast of the old shotgun. The same shotgun we've been carrying since the very first run around. Excellent. For a standard success of 6162. Oh, oh shit. But almost as if Yig knew what you were about to do, he twirls and throws his large dragon body to the side with an extreme success dodging that round from the shotgun. You do have one more attack, though. What is this magic staff do you behold? Well, Rackin sent another one his way. Ooh, someone wasn't paying attention. That time, he did not foresee your attack, and he is hit with 16 damage. Excellent. All right, there's some buckshot, friend. Not sure if they had that from the time you're coming from. As what is this buckshot you speak of? As you yeah, fire the shotgun and it blasts into the belly of the dragon, you hear you go, as you see the dragon tongue lift from the mouth, shaking. But now his head comes back down, setting its gaze on you, Stone Haze. Mm -hmm. But then from the lake of Camelot comes the Lady of the Lake. What is her action? Um, I'm going to go up to Stone and kind of put my hand on his shotgun and say, this is what you're going to use for the most of the time. I mean, I got this, too. I, I was Which are you going to use more? It's I, very important. The stick. I don't know, okay. man. And I put my hand on the trident, and I'm going to cast Bless Blade. Yes, and uh, Carly, if you would, for the audience, uh, explain <coughs> oh, your shit. powers yeah. to the uh, the viewers for tonight. So, yeah. Um, one of, we'll, we'll kind of get to him as I get to him, right, but yeah, yeah. I'm the lady of the lake. So like I'm magical as shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I can touch a weapon and enchant it for one session. The weapon will be able to do twice the damage each time it attacks. It'll take me a turn, but, oh shit. uh, yeah, you're going to do double damage with that. What the fuck did you just do to this thing? So, so I'm just um, kind of holding onto it for a hot minute. And real quick, uh, if anybody has the Octum Cthulhu rule book, uh, especially the Keeper's Guide, you will be able to find uh, most of these uh, rules for these spells in those books uh, for both Cthulhu and Savage uh, rules. Uh, there are a couple of tweaks I made to them just to fit uh, my scenario and everything. So a little bit, it's a little bit of it's homebrewed, some of it's not. So excellent. So you are blessing. And I you're blessing I the blade of the Triton. Uh, yes. Excellent. And so now that uh, the Triton is blessed. I'll be honest, yep. I'm glad you're on my team. I get that a lot. <clears throat> okay. And one more time, can you uh, explain to the audience what that does? Yes. So it, um, the weapon will be able to do twice the damage each time it attacks for the session. Here we go. So for the rest of this fight, your trident's going to do twice Fuck. whatever it normally does so you better get an extreme success <laughs> yep it summons two krakens, two krakens. <laughs> i mean we are he did say i came out of a lake there it is there it is <laughs> well you came out of the lake from the portal it was uh, yeah it was like a like a mortal combat coming out of the lake where it's not uh -huh. part of the map but right. it's part of your right. portal the portal was underwater Makes All right, sense. so um, <laughs> you do have one more attack, Carly. Oh, I do, yes. Sorry. Um, so that doesn't take my whole turn to do? Oh, it that is correct. Yes, yes. yes. Thank you for reminding me. Yes, so okay. that will take one turn um, to do that. And now uh, uh, the uh, Triton is uh, possessed or blessed. And now yeah. we are off possessed. to Yig. And Yig... <laughs> is going to be attacking you, Stonehaze. Fantastic. Can you dodge as uh. the dragon lifts its large arm 
It Ooh. throws its talons, and you failed the dodge, so you will be taking a slash from the claws of Yig for six damage. Mm. In the chat, lads. And now uh, Yig also has one more attack. And he also has magic and spells. What the fuck? I know. So, uh, for five <coughs> points of magic, Yig. And these, uh, for Yig, I created myself. <clears throat> you won't be able to find them anywhere. He is going to be trying to uh, charm you, Matt. What? Um, yes, uh, the dragon's... What, is, what, what jungle bug bullshit is this? <clears throat> the dragon's charm. Yeah. If Yig rolls a successful charm roll, he will entrap target character for one turn unless they ma make a successful power roll. Does he take me out to dinner? But you don't have to make any Fuck sort of power here. roll. Um, actually, you know what? Before you do that, I'm going to use five points of luck and make that a success. So will you Damn. give me a successful power roll, please? Damn. Ooh, he really wanted that to work. He did. But that was a successful power roll. Perfect. Thank you very and much. You are uh, not ensnared in the trap uh -huh. eyes of Yig. And now we go back to uh, King Arthur. It is your turn as you see this confrontation between Stonehaze and Yig. Oh, I'm gonna go for a for a for a flanking for a flanking attack. I'm gonna I'm gonna attack him from behind while he's trying to like charm him. Okay. Right. Mm. Let go, foul demon! <laughs> <laughs> now I'm just gonna lean over to uh, Stonehaze and say. I really don't know why he's talking like this. This isn't his normal voice. <laughs> sure, sure. Hard <sighs> success. And, uh, uh, well, even success. though you had a hard success, Yig is able to dodge that hard success with a hard success. I've had enough of this, dude. You do have mm -hmm. one more attack. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to Size. Press that. Size. <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean to press that button. So Beware, game... foul demon, as I will body you. <laughs> it is a game of measurement now. <laughs> Get bodied. I call upon <laughs> ye, California, my sword. Grant me the strength to strike this dragon down. And I try again. Uh, for That's good. Trevor. That's good. I Trevor. like that. I, I love like you that. so much. Extreme <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it works. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, no! God. <laughs> yes. So King Arthur nails oh, an wow. extreme God. success for Unless... twenty-two damage, but Yig is able to roll and dodge out of the way as the power of Excalibur is coming and hitting the ground. He rolls out of the way with an extreme success, two versus sixty. Oh, man, that could be nine points of luck to maybe turn that into a crit, but I don't know. I don't know. Could be. Oh, man. I don't have the most luck. We're but he's got a luck pool, too, apparently. So, never mind. Yeah. Oh, hey, this is the uh, final boss, you know. So You right, you right, you right. And I feel All like, right. you know, as much as I loved fighting Yig in the first season, I was like, we got to one-up it. This needs to be, you know... Thanos versus Iron Man kind of scenario. <laughs> uh, you know you've made Yig, right? Like you, you're like, uh, you know, I hate that we have to do this kind of thing. Like you're acting like you're sad about it. You made this. <laughs> oh no, he's kicking your ass. Oh, Who would have no. saw that coming? <laughs> All right. Who'd have thunk? All right. Is it back around the old it is your Mr. Turn, Hayes? Stone Hayes. I want to try something, and it's a little bit early on. He's just taken a blow from one of the, the paws of this dragon, this racist-ass dragon. Uh, <laughs> That's the best way you could describe Hitler, a racist-ass dragon. So as Stone was flung back a bit, he secures the grip on this trident, not knowing what will happen. And thrusts it into the sky, points it at these cosmic stars above him to see what will happen. Interesting. Keeper. 
Does anything happen? Can you roll me a uh, just combat for the Triton, please? I can. Where's that at? Here we are. For a standard success, 40 versus 76. Okay, let's see if Yig can dodge it. Yig is able to dodge it as you lift the Triton up. And with the power of the Triton, with the power of Excalibur, two of the power relics in reach of each other, lightning bolts come from this Mm. Mm. pitch black but filled with cosmic stars and cosmic rays as this lightning of uh, multicolored and multidimensional beams come down and hit the the blade and the the three prongs of the Triton. But as mm. you try to land a strike on Yig, Yig is able to dodge and roll and fly up in the sky, dodging these bolts of lightning. Uh, you do have one more attack, though. He's getting a taste for it. Son of a bitch, I didn't know it could do this. Let's try it one more time, maybe seeing if he can hold on to that lightning just for a minute as he aims it in the direction he wants it to go. Perhaps it coming down from the sky and then projecting out from him like a mirror for 99 versus 76 failure. Love that tried it zero. snaps in half. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I could spend like four points to like bring that down from a 99. It's not a crit, but I don't know if a 99 would have a heavy effect. It is broken though, isn't it? That's only for guns have a malfunction. Yeah. It's not a firearm. Yeah. Um, you uh, you just missed. <laughs> you missed bad, though. I, Shit! Yeah, I was just making sure you didn't just, yeah, really snap the uh, Triton in half. Oh, no! <laughs> you did not, so thankfully that did not happen. Um, yes, right, as you right. try this maneuver, you are unable to hit Yig. Um, it is your turn. Uh, I was about to say Anushka, Lady of the Lake. Merwin, yeah. Okay. Um, I really don't want to use... He's not super close to me, is he? Um, He's right there, right up on all three of you. Oh, he is? It, okay. This is a close combat. This is kind uh, of... This is, if you would think, Mortal Kombat uh, style fighting. Y'all are all, like, up on each other fighting, going, you know... Uh, parrying each other, it's crazy. Some of you are able to fly up in the air and attack Yig and stuff. So, uh-huh. I have a, I have an idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm so sorry, Hudson. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cast Dominate. Um, oh, I, players can cast the spell to entrap the mind of a target creature. If target creature fails the power roll, then that creature is under the spell of the target player for one turn. It may be. A little early, but I want to try it. <clears throat> how much? How many points of magic does that cost? Uh, it costs. Hold on, I think it costs ten. Yeah, it costs ten magic points, and I'm at fifteen. So, okay. And that this means doesn't work. It's gonna suck. And Yig has to make a power roll. Power roll, correct. All right. So if you'll roll that, oh, man. please. Oh yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Because if it's the first time I cast it, if it, I don't have to roll for it, or I do have to roll for it if it's the first time I'm casting it. Otherwise, Fuck. I don't, which fucking sucks. Versus an eighty. Is that something you can? You can't push it, I guess. Yeah, that's not a. I don't have much luck either. Oh man. Could I push that, Hudson? Um, I will risk of losing more sanity. <laughs> Here's the thing. Um, I can justify pushing it. If you need me to. Okay. If 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 I allow you to push it, you're gonna lose ten points of sanity. That's fine. Oh no, it's not. That's about a madness. Yeah. That's already about a madness, though. I already took five from from yeah. it. Fuck, well, if you about succeed the intelligence, yeah. Oh no, it's only sixteen. Okay, no, we're fine. Um, it's not five. It's you get temporary insane for if you take 16 sanity points for me because it's a fifth of your sanity maybe i don't know either way um i'm not gonna push it Mm, all right yeah i'm just gonna burn that spell so you just lost 10 points of magic um and that did take 
one turn as you tried to dominate as the Lady of the Lake reached out with her eyes closed with water dripping as the air and light around her darkened as she began to glow with this green tried to ensnare Yig in his mind but Yig this great old one destroy of worlds too powerful to be ensnared like that is able to escape your grasp and now it is his turn and he is mad and he is coming after you lady of the lake yeah that's fair Mm. can you dodge that the dice gods have really fucked us on this one (laughs) they have really fucked us on this one please (laughs) <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> so who am I going to come back as when I die in this one Hudson and then another because guess what 11. that's over half of my hit points that's a major wound uh, no pulp characters ignore major wounds okay thank god yeah. so uh, you were unable to dodge out of the, yeah. the fire breath that it ensues you but because you are the Lady of the Lake and such a mystical creature, you take 16 points of damage. God, okay. You're just standing there, this small framed woman of the lake, and all we see is a very large plume of fire <laughs> encapsulate you. You disappear. She'll, and then it comes up, and you're just fucking fried. Yeah, she looks yeah. like a Looney Tunes character now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, pretty much. Holy shit. Hey, London. Hi, London. Bad on, timing, London. bud. Oh, man. Yes, it's London, I, I don't know if you've been watching, uh, but the Lady of the Lake, played by our very own Carly Sims, has just been I'm engulfed. Crispy. Yes, she's very crispy now. She's just been engulfed by Dragon Breath, also known as a flamethrower, also known as Fire Breath. <laughs> the Flammenwaffer. Oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What? <laughs> yeah, he has his very own flaming buffer. <laughs> and uh, Yig does get one more uh, move, and he's gonna come for you, King Arthur. Oh, thank God! Zor, can you dodge it from its claw attack? I shall dodge it. Wow. And you are able to dodge wow. as you yeah. move with your steel plate armor clinking across this ashen field. <laughs> You're able to dodge it. And right to you, King Arthur, what is your move? Uh, okay. All right. So what's going through his mind is Excalibur's not working. He's too quick for this. So, like, the sword isn't working. So maybe, maybe, maybe spot hidden. I'm going to see what's, I'm going to check my surroundings right now. Okay. Oh, not sleight of hand. Spot hidden. That what one. The fuck. Do you have Sorry. hot keys for the skills? <laughs> 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 Trevor also. Uh, 30, 30 to fifty. Spot hidden. What do Tre- I see? Tre- well, first of all, Trevor, I, I love your enthusiasm tonight. You you're yes. really reminding me of Scarface right now. <laughs> well, I'm King Arthur. I gotta be like. Yeah. Do do with that what you will. But yes, back to it. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> with a successful spot hidden roll, you're going to notice that you are on this ashen field in the middle, originally where this this mound was where Yig was sitting, almost like a throne. He is now off this mound. So in the middle of this map, there's this uh, black stone mound sitting there. Around you is a field of lava and flame. So there's nothing. So, uh, Mustafar from Revenge of the Sith. I knew, I knew it was coming. There's nothing. It's just lava and shit, buddy. That's all you get. And a black stone. Get fucked. I hate you. All right, what were you waiting for? The Ark of the Covenant to be somewhere so you could open it. I and- don't know. Holy Grail. I don't know. Some some sort of weakness <laughs> lying around. Some holy Grail. Some like Achilles' heel or something. You can roll uh, for Holy Hand Grenade if you would like. <laughs> Prepare the Holy Hand Grenade. Yeah. Right. What, what if I made Yig instead of a dragon? It was just a uh, a rabbit. Funny. Yeah, yeah, a little bunny. <laughs> Look at the bones, man. Look at the bones. It's just a rabbit. 
bite your head off. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, bless ye, Califua. I shall smite thee, and I go for another go for another sword swingy for a sixty-one seventy success. Excellent, and and welcome everybody coming in in the chat. Welcome, Stiletto Assassin. Excellent, oh, wow. yeah. here. Welcome. Yes, and with that success, let's see if Yig can dodge out of the way. And he's able to dodge mm. out of the way. Wow. You do have one more attack. Or, no, you don't, because you made that no, spot hit. Oh. No, you don't. So <laughs> as you, you are fighting and parrying with Yig, you are striking him, but he's able to block and dodge a lot of these blows. Back to you, Stone Haze. It's an endurance battle. Uh, with the riff of Hallowed Be Thy Name, let's bring the thunder back down on the son of a bitch. Uh, let's see if it's not a fucking crit fail. Shout out to For Iron a standard Maiden. success. Oh, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, he ah. is able to dodge. You want to give one more attack? I do. Another standard success is all we're seeing. Come and the a, fuck on. Another successful dodge. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Again, I've had enough of this, dude. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Uh Lady of the Lake, take it away. I'm just gonna say, you know what? Fuck it. And I'm just gonna try to bring lightning down on it. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Which is just a normal attack for me. <laughs> and I'm just gonna <laughs> snap and not. The dice happens. gods are really with us. This you time. know how Urbosa snaps in um uh, Breath of the Wild, and that's how she does her lightning. I just do that, and then I like kind of go and like rub my fingers on my dress and do it again. <laughs> and I'm just go, and I look back at Stone Haze and say, "I swear this normally works much better than it is." Sure, right sure, now. yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah, me too. <laughs> God, okay. You're gonna send another one. Yeah, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. I forget I get to do it twice. Thank God Finally. one of us actually get a decent success, and I Five swear to damage. God, Hudson! <laughs> As this bolt of lightning <laughs> comes down. <laughs> oh, man. It's the final boss. It has to be hard. Dude, the dice gods hate us. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. As this bolt of lightning comes from this cosmic sky and Hits the ground, missing Yig as he flies away, flies up, going around this bolt of lightning and begins to descend back down like a bomber plane. Oh. Specifically a dive bomber plane. Yep. And now it is Yig's turn. Yep. I wonder what he's going to do. And Yig is going to perform a magic trick for one turn and his spell is called Crack of Doom. Yig flaps his wings together to make a loud crack that breaks the known sound barrier. Any There's character, gotta be a better name for that. <laughs> any character who makes a successful listen roll is disoriented for one turn. Uh oh. This is where I'll fucking succeed, I bet. So if you all will please. Oh. Wait, does not, he not have to roll for it? Uh, no, because I'm I'm losing five magic points. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I spell Yeah, of course I get a fucking extreme this time around. The shit. Oh my gosh. Roll 20 Excellent. you're screwing me, man. Come so on. Lady of the Lake and King Arthur. King Arthur, perhaps you're wearing your helmet um or the helm and your crown and uh I only listen to the words of God. Excellent. And Lady of the Lake, you are mystical, so <laughs> you are not uh, ensnared by this loud sound. But Stone Haze, with an extreme success, you are disoriented for one round, so you will not be able to attack or make any sort of movement. As you are holding your ears, almost like a ring wraith from Lord of the Rings is going over, screaming. <clears throat> Excellent. <clears throat> so that was Yig's turn, and we are back to King Arthur. Die, foul demon for Galleon! <laughs> for a 53 versus 76. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. And with that, and with that enthusiasm oh. bursting from King Arthur, 
a fighting Yig for the second time, lightning and a beam of light glowing from Excalibur as it strikes the dragon, hitting a blow underneath the upper arm and the upper torso of the dragon, hitting through the scale for nine damage. So I get another attack? You do have one more attack. God be with me, or you shall die! <laughs> For an extreme success! Oh, shit. No, not he another extreme dodge. Okay. Damn. Yes! Very good. With an extreme success, Yig is ma- able to make a successful dodge, but is unable to dodge that extreme success, taking 17 damage from King Arthur. Huzzah! Excellent. Um, I wish I could say uh, you're halfway down his health, but you aren't. Yeah. We kind of saw thanks. that one coming. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to tell us that, but thanks. Yeah. Does, any, does anybody want to guess uh, Yig's health? No. Nope. Yeah, 69. No, no I don't know. 420. What's another funny number? I don't uh, know. 25. <laughs> <laughs> funnier than 24. <laughs> Damn it, Trevor. <laughs> Excellent. So we would go to Stone Haze, but Stone Haze, you are still disoriented. So oh, disoriented go... means unable. Gotcha. Yes, and deaf for the time being. Uh, Great. <laughs> but good. it is the Lady of the Lake's turn. What would you like to do? Um, That one didn't work super well, but I feel like fire isn't good against it, so I'm going to try to zap it with lightning again. It's not very... Well, okay, so... This is going to be wild. Describe for me again real quick, if you don't mind, uh, kind of what's exactly going on. Like, he's in the air? Uh, he's in the air. He's on the ground. Um, y'all are all... Where you are, you do, you don't know what this land is. You don't know if you're on an, in another dimension where you are. But right. you are a mystical character. But King Arthur and Stone Haze are still humans, but you see them as they are also able to jump higher than an average human would be able to. They're not flying, but they're able to get to the height of Yig and able to make these attacks. So right, think, but Yig's in the air, right? He's descending back down, and he descent he descent so far that King Arthur was able to jump up in okay. almost a Mortal Kombat way or a one punch hero and yeah. uh, smite Yig a couple of times. Well, I'm going to use instead, I'm going to use my fire stream spell and try to kind of, I know he's a dragon, but I want to kind of try to like take out a wing or something. Okay. Um, Please God, 56, 60 success for one fucking damage. <laughs> and it doesn't do a whole lot. So I just kind of rear back and just do it again. Okay. And will you explain the spell? Yeah, uh, it's just fire stream. It's oh, the fire attacks. stream. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you do have one more attack. So uh, I do it again for three damage. Okay, so mm. if he doesn't dodge, oh right, look at yeah, that, he yeah, gets yeah. extreme. So who uh-huh, would have guessed? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Hold on, hold on. That that's for the first one. Uh huh. Because I didn't roll. Yeah, it. No. So an extreme success. So he's able to dodge the first fire stream. Yeah, and he dodges the second one too, doesn't he? With it. No, oh, he okay. doesn't. He fails. All right, all right, all right. And he takes right. three damage. Good. As he, he is three. hit with this. A uh, burst of flames. He's used to dealing out flames. He's not used to taking it. And again, I was aiming for his wing, trying to kind of damage the webbing on it uh-huh. to hopefully kind of ground him if I can. Okay. That's a long shot. And uh, It is, but I'm working on it. You are you can't even attack this round, so you know what? Be nice to me. <laughs> I'm just saying it's a long shot. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, Yig is going to uh, use 10 points of magic. Yeah, I'm sure he is. For one turn. Mm-hmm. To cast one of his lar- his only large spell. Uh, Portal of Madness. Yig, with a successful power roll, will open a black hole portal that he uh, can send enemies through to never be seen again. To evade this portal, you must dodge or make a dex save. So this will only open if I make a successful power roll. Mm-hmm. Ha! Get fucked! Wow! <laughs> you were really leaning on that 80 
power, weren't you? Oh my honey? god! <laughs> and your loved ones. It and sucks to think. No, oh, I got this because I've got eighty power. No, don't fucking. If he can spend luck points on that shit, why aren't we spending luck points on our moves? Hey, I never said you couldn't. Mm. And with that, I'm gonna spend three luck points <laughs> to open up that black hole portal. <laughs> And now okay. you see uh, Yig open up its left wingspan in a circular formation. You see this black hole burst onto the scene. It's probably about a span of 50 yards horizontally and vertically. It's in one position. If you look on the roll 20 map, I'll uh, show you where it's located. So you know where to stay clear of. Okay, the black square is the portal. Okay. Excellent. Um, but we are back to, uh, King Arthur, it is your turn, and now since we're starting a brand new turn, uh, Stonehaze, you are now, uh, no longer disoriented. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Your dark magic doesn't, doesn't... Frighten or scare. Frighten me, <laughs> even! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I'm <laughs> For 89 versus 70, I miss. Yes. But he still does that. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just a complete miss. And then he tries to go for, like, the backward hand thing, right? Uh-huh. And he gets a hard success for a 27 versus 70. Okay, let's see if Yig can dodge it. Oh! Oh, God. It's good to see it. It's good to see oh. it. And Yig has Ugh. a failure, a hundred versus sixty. That's a critical failure, correct? Oh yeah, I believe so. And would that mean to multiply the damage by two? Sure. What a critical. Uh, it's up yep. to you. I mean, that's a uh, your call keeper. Yep. That is true. That is true. Uh, yes. I, I think it's a good idea. First. Yeah, we are <laughs> going to multiply the hard success damage of ten points. It will now be twenty points of damage as Excalibur in slow motion, comes down, slicing Shit. open part of the torso of Yig the dragon as uh, this black blood begins to start seeping out of the dragon scales. Oh, man. Look at King Arthur go. Die, thou beast. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> And we are off to Stone Haze. After seeing that Stone Haze, you see this dragon letting out this large roar. You see the stars in the sky twinkling violently. You see the moon off in the distance growing even larger. This is not the moon That's that you're moon. used to seeing. Yeah, it's a space station. <laughs> uh, Sorry. <laughs> you, you knew you would. Uh, I, you said that you were like, I couldn't help it. I know how to distract Hudson. I'm Say a Star Wars reference. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is not the moon of Earth. All right. Uh, is he still deaf or can he hear shouting from oh, old King Arthur yes, over there? Yes, you, you have. So the way I would describe it is like in Saving Private Ryan when Tom mm. Hanks gets off the landing boat and he's having the uh, ringing in his ears. Oh, yeah. The no, ringing I know exactly has, what you mean. Yeah, the ringing has I've stopped. definitely seen. Oh, the ringing has stopped? Yes. Okay, so you can hear shouting. Yes. All right. Yes, you can hear. Uh, maybe I should... All right. I can get behind this. Uh, something, something, demon. And uh, let's go with another call of lightning. Much like he saw the Lady of the Lake do. Bring this trident back down for a standard success. Let's see that standard dodge roll. If he's trying it. Yep. Okay, there it is. Uh, yes. Success. Yes. You yeah, have one more attack, that. though. Mm, I guess we're all within like range of each other. Yes. 
you are. Let's try one more time. A little bit more intensity as these lightning strikes keep striking into that ground and throwing up whatever this soil or dirt is. One more try for another standard 51 versus 76. And with that, as the lightning bolt hits Oof. the Triton, as you Oof. throw it forward, as the lightning engulfs Yig for 24 damage because God Yig is damn. unable to dodge this large amount of lightning. Excellent. Oh, man. Okay, that feels good. That oh, insane. that came down from the heavens. Oh, all right. And now we are off to the Lady of the Lake. Yeah, that's me. Um, okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to say what I was going to do. No, sorry. Sure, yeah, that, that's what it was. <laughs> uh, okay, so you know what? I'm, I'm still trying to take kind of ground him. Actually, I want to kind of skirt around him and almost flank him and just keep assaulting him with uh, I'm going to go back to my lightning. Okay. I want to get put him between me and the portal. Black hole, whatever. Okay. That is an extreme success for 21 damage. Oh, shit. Hopefully. Oh. Hopefully. Hudson. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, I mean no, no as in a good. Oh, oh no. no. I deal 21 damage. I'm gonna use I all him. my luck points. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. Do Make it. Make a crit <laughs> dodge success. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Yes, the Lady of the Lake. Uh, oh, thank God. Describe this amount of damage that you're you're dealing, um, Yig. She's getting pissed. Mm. And lightning kind of starts arcing off of her and because she's you know perpetually water watered i don't want to say the other phrase for that sure <laughs> sure she's always damp um, oh yeah and yeah. so the lightning's just kind of a little bit more powerful than Moist. she's used to it being yeah and she just kind of holds both hands out in front of her and just kind of yells and it just zaps hella hard Yes, zip, zap, zap. Yep. Um, and then you I have, do it again. Zip, zap, zap. <laughs> you have one more attack. That is correct. See, yeah, that's how she it. casts a spell. Yeah, and it doesn't work that time. Yeah, and the lightning engulfs you and destroys you. Yeah. Oh, for, no. For play. no. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, and you used most of that lightning power that first turn, and so it. It still comes out, but it's unable to reach Yig because it's not as powerful as that yeah. first hit. Um, and now it is Yig's turn. Yig is coming after King Arthur as it stares and begins to uh, circle around and has the standoff with King Arthur. You know you're going to die, don't you? King of England and Camelot. That's good. good answer, good answer. You see Yig open its large jaws, and you see a, a large, bright orange light coming from its throat. With fire breath, can you dodge it? I point my sword at it. <laughs> I point my sword at my left mouse button to click the dodge roll. And I yes. dodge roll! Like you so are nice. able to this dodge nice. out of the way as this yes. flamethrower of uh, f dragon... Fire comes out of Yig's throat. It's going to try to slash at you, though, uh, King Arthur. And it does have a successful mm. uh, slash. Can you dodge that? Dodge, dodge, No. Dodge. You're unable oh. to dodge, dodge, but because you are we wearing plate armor, or also known as plot armor, <laughs> <laughs> please roll me a 1d12. Yes, sir. My first 1d12 of the night. Eight. You take no damage as you oh. hear the shriek of the the uh, the talons go across your heavy plate armor. Huzzah! <laughs> Honestly, I did not think uh, King Arthur would be the one not taking any like loss at all because he is the yeah. lowest hit points out of everybody. 
And oh, I'm like, no. I'm King Arthur. You I know, expect? but you're like, even the sword is not even that great. Like the stats on it aren't. <laughs> <laughs> My caliber. Your character is shit, Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> he purposefully gave you a shitty. <laughs> No, that's like, that's a good. It's all about confidence, you guys. Yeah, that and it's a good build. He's got the uh, armor, even though his HP yeah. might, might not be uh, the right. most. Yeah, yeah. I, I was thinking about that. I was like, Trevor needs something because the you know Carly has all these powers and stuff. Her hit points are a lot better. Um, Magical. Yeah, and then Stone Haze, you're you know you're built. Just a fucking you, dude. You have a whole yeah. bunch of you have an entire arsenal. So you're built. Yeah, I have man. caliber. I have the power of exercise on my Britons. side. <laughs> Excellent. And so, Pretty yeah, with chance. that, um, do we all want to take a quick break, or do y'all want to just keep going through this? Y'all, I will say, are halfway through the hit points now. Okay. That's a... Probably break, right? You want to take just, a break? We just this feels like a... Yig. Let's take a so short one. Let's okay. do, uh, said, instead of 15 yeah. minutes or something, just 5 to 10. All right, we're going to yeah. take a, a quick five minute break so stay tuned to see this final outcome between yig versus king arthur stone haze and of course the wonderful and beautiful the lady of the lake we will be right back here on spot hidden stay tuned
No, Matt, I agree. It really does make a lot of sense. Well, I think burying that lightsaber into the sand and saying something about being a Skywalker really wrapped up the series in a good way. Hudson, I'm hurting. 
I'm in I'm in physical pain right now. He muted us I'm again, I bet. Oh, oh no, I didn't mute you. <laughs> oh, Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> Here on the spot hidden, we are playing our final episode of Octum Cthulhu, where all three of our characters, Carly, Matt, and Trevor, are fighting the great old one Yig, destroyer of worlds. We just left off with Yig. Um his last attack, and now we are going right back to King Arthur. King Arthur, what is your move? Oh, but then I keep forgetting you're not oh. King Arthur. <laughs> <laughs> I never I'm played King Arthur. Play. I only played no. Briseis, King Arthur's grandfather. So he just opened up this portal. Um, aha. I, oh. he's, he's trying to oh. escape through the portal. I shall prevent it. <laughs> Uh, so King Arthur throws himself into the portal. <laughs> Never to be seen again. I will again. beat you there. <laughs> I will stand in between him and the portal and say, Hala! And like attack him. Go after the. Go after the. Go after his. I don't know. Go after him. The dragon. The dragon. Yes. The dragon. 4470. I love how range is, instead of touch with the sword is just close. <laughs> it's just close. Close enough. <laughs> Um, I, I, we never talked about counterattacks during this game, did we? I've been no. thinking about it this whole time. I've been hoping you weren't thinking about it this whole yeah. time. Because all it takes is... We never did fucking... it before, so I'm not going to do it now, but oh, if, if we had done it before, I would have counterattacked your butt so hard, dude. I would have been counterattacking this whole time, but yeah, no. <laughs> I would have... Thrown you through that portal, Trevor. <laughs> you <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Good luck, Lig. Right. With a uh, successful uh, sword attack as King uh, Arthur gets in between the portal and uh, Yig and slashes once again. Uh, let's say it severs one of the dragon's uh, hands, or talons. Oh, shit. Claws. Oh. For ten Goes flying damage. through the air. Cool, let's sever the other hand. Let's sever the other, there it is. Go for it. 70 oh, a regular God. success. Come on. Oh my oh God. God, another failure of dodge. <laughs> wow. First six damage as you- Huzzah, you, man, hell you yeah. You strike and slash off the other one as you turn at your back, as you parry the sword, doing a pirouette, bringing it back behind you, slashing the other arm, cutting it off. Man. You're a poser, you're a total poser. Aha! <laughs> Keeper, tell me, does a talon flip through the air and then stab into the soil like a sword waiting to be drawn from the stone? No. Stop, that's my thing. Damn. The stone. I can see. Oh, God. Um, oh, yes, God. and now we are to Stone Haze. It is your turn. How close to that stone am I? The one you described. Uh, the one that he was mounted on. <clears throat> so, right now. So, this. Oh, nope. Not that. So, this is Yig. I cannot move him because he's a part of the picture. Sure. He was originally up here. Mm-hmm. Everybody is right here with Yig. Okay. Okay. And so Except the map. me. I did move to like here. Where did you move, Carly? Okay. Like All right. right cool. Here. All right. Perfect. Um, Excuse us, audience. Thank you. And just, and I mean, the Yig is so big that he's come from here, you know, like. Trevor or King Arthur is right here next to the portal in the north, northwest part of the map, and Yig uh, moved down this way. So, okay, so he moved to the our it left if we're looking at this map, correct? Right. Okay, gotcha. So he would technically be right here. Stage right. Okay. Oh, okay. Right. So I would have been. So in reference, uh, and trying to keep it in mind for those um, listening. There is a large stone that he was mounted on, Yig, specifically, uh, in the middle of this map, this battle map that we're on. Uh, is stone able to get to the top of that? Oh, sure, yeah, if you'll give me a climb roll. Climb roll? Oh. 
I was thinking he's going to jump on Or a it. jump. Yeah, you can give me a jump. Honestly, yes. they're both in the same boat. Let's see. Oh, 94 versus 48. Failure with the jump. You fall to your death. Okay. All right. Please Man, leave that the was string. a fun last episode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, good luck, guys. Uh, no. Yeah. no, you are unable to uh, jump. As you jump, you are not used to this type of gravity. Mm. There's almost no gravity. Um, it's not like jumping on the moon, but almost. But you misjudge your jump, and you go past the uh, mound. So you're on this side of it now. Oh, I go past uh -huh. it. How convenient. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So, yeah, I just kind of vaulted over the side. All right. Um well, let's use whatever movement to uh, maybe wrap back around uh, to get maybe a point of access. Taking cover maybe behind a piece of the rock. And let's send... Let's uh, kind of grabbing the far end of this trident. The far end from the uh, fork end. Uh, swinging it from the left to maybe draw that current up. And then releasing it towards the old dragon. Okay. Combat damage, please. Where is it at? Here we go. Hard success, 19 versus 76. Can he dodge? It's only a successful dodge, so he is unable, and that is 15 times 2. That's 30 points of damage, Ooh. and you're saying that you're taking the oh, triton and God. pushing it into the ground, throwing up the uh, the ash? Uh, he starts it on the far side, uh, facing away from Yig. Grabbing the base of it, the far end of it, like a golf club almost. Dragging it across the ground as if it's pulling it from the earth. To then send it, almost subterranean, up underneath him. Okay, yeah. And this ball of lightning and gravel is thrown at Ooh. Yig. Doing piercing and lightning damage to it for 30 points. Oh, man. That feels good. That feels good. And uh, real quick, I forgot to do this at the beginning of the episode, but now is a great time to do it. Everybody, because you are yep. seeing Yig, please <laughs> give me a sanity check, please. Ooh, and it's not failure. my first time seeing him. That is correct. And it is also, actually, King Arthur, you you have also seen it. Uh, you have also seen Yig at this point. Uh, so really all I need it. Stone Haze. <laughs> from Stone Haze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it goes. That's this how it goes. Murdered me Stone before, Haze. So like... Take two points a... of sanity loss, please. Oh, yeah. Um, can do. I don't think I rolled last episode. That's all good. Uh, th I, that's why I was doing it anyways. It was primarily so, for you because... When you saw Hitler and he changed into Yig, that's when yeah. you need to make so, the sanity. To work this into the middle of the fight that we're in now, uh, Stone just... <gasps> and that's kind of how that goes. Uh, so the adrenaline yeah. kind of wore yeah. off. Yeah. All right, and we are <laughs> off to the Lady of the Lake, who has seen this creature before, yep. but you were not the Lady of the Lake at that time, as perhaps you may be having flashbacks now to that village, Totber, on fire... You're seeing your Celtic friend Briseis in the claws of the dragon being crushed to death as you see the sword of Excalibur fall to the ground, disappearing, and now you see the sword in the grandson's hands of Briseis. What is your move? Your move, Kaiba. Um, unsurprisingly, I'm going to zap it with lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. <laughs> lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. <laughs> lightning bolt. Extreme Holy success. Shit. 23 damage, please, God. Yes. Oh, my gosh. 23 damage? Yeah. 23 fucking the damage. Dice and Yig is unable to dodge this. As you notice, the beast is growing a little bit more tired and moving slowly for 23 damage as you are hurling everything you have now, Lady of the Lake, with your hands up. With your eyes curled back with these just white eyeballs showing, you throw this lightning strike at it for 23 damage. You do have Achoo. one more attack. I'm going to try to kind of do another one, and that is <laughs> 39, 60 for one damage. One little spark pops off of her this, fingertip. This time, Yig throws its great tail around, uh, blocking yeah. that strike. <laughs> He was ready this time. 
It is Yig's turn now. Honestly, that's almost better that he dodged it <laughs> instead of me just dealing one damage. Yeah. What to do, what to do. <laughs> and you how die. do you kill Yig with that one point of lightning damage? God, what if that was all he had left? <laughs> that, that would be eight. ridiculous. Right. <clears throat> um, for Yig's uh, final five points of magic, uh, he is going to uh, throw himself back up into the sky and flap his wings together, creating Crack of Doom. If everybody will make a failure on a listen roll, you'll pass. If you make a successful listen roll, you will be disoriented. God damn it. King Arthur and Stone Haze, you are disoriented for a round. Mm. Yes. So, All we right. go to the Lady of the Lake. It is your turn. Guess what? <laughs> <laughs> 60 oh. versus 60 for 6 damage and but Yig is able to those. dodge that as you throw bolts of lightning up into the air as Yig is flying around dodging these yeah, sounds about right I do one more and I can't hit him mm. that would have mm. been a shit ton of damage though alright Yig is coming after you uh, King Arthur flying right next to you as you have your Hands over your ears because of that loud noise. He's going to send fire breath at you. And is unable to. Aha! As the fire breath, he chokes on his own spit. <laughs> I'm literally just thinking of Danny in that one battle royale we did. Aha! Uh -oh. <laughs> that's all, all that's been in my head all night. He is going to attack you, though, uh, King Arthur, <laughs> with his dragon claws for hard success. But it's only one damage. Damn. Itch. Hi, right, Hanan. What? Uh, God is with us! <laughs> uh, you are disoriented. So yeah, you, you can't not, dodge. You yeah, won't can't be able dodge. to dodge. So oh, you I can't take, dodge. Okay, yeah, well, so as you are thrown up against a rock, you take armor. one point of damage. So. Do I have well, to armor? That'd be like kind of like shock damage, but. What do I do here? Do I roll armor or do I just subtract damage? You just subtract damage. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, yeah, you would roll armor because the armor, the armor would do the same thing even if you're disoriented. So roll armor. Mm. So yeah. you take you take no damage as you're there you go. knocked to the side, though. Oh. Excellent. Thank God for that fire breath. So now no, we are listen, I mean. <laughs> back to you, King Arthur. After you've been knocked to the side, uh, this uh, this knock to the side has kind of uh, awoken you from your disorientation. Ye foul demon thinks he could smite me? No! Never! <laughs> a white man? No! <laughs> no! That's the learning that it's actually Hitler. No! <laughs> Failure! <laughs> oh no! As you miss. Oh no! As you miss again. <laughs> It's a good thing these are not guns. Two very hard failures as uh, uh, King Arthur is missing as Yig, even though he's tired, now he is toying with King Arthur because he knows he still has the upper hand. Come to me, King of Camelot. I will smite ye down, you demon! It is your you turn. You will rule the day you ever stepped foot and brought me into this hell. <laughs> we shall see, Arthur. So we shall see. It is your turn, Stonehaze. Up on the stone for a 38 versus 48 success. Jump roll. As you jump onto the stone, what are you doing? He'll take a few steps to the higher point of this rock. And with the same weapon he's been using, point it to the heavens and slam it back down, hopefully, for an extreme success. Six plus 19. However, there was a blessing enchanted on this trident at the very beginning of this battle. So, Keeper, that was an extreme that's 25 However points want. already. However you want to calculate that, 
That was an extreme. Times two equals 50, correct? If we're oh, adding it all together. Fucking haze. As you jump onto this Holy stone, shit. stone haze throws the Poseidon up into, or the Poseidon, the Triton the of Poseidon, Poseidon himself. <laughs> up into the cosmic sky as the stars glow almost in happiness as this beam of rays, not lightning, but this beam of light comes down striking Yig. Stonehaze, please describe to the audience how do you kill oh Yig? God. I pulled that shit out of my ass. I didn't think I was going to make that jump. With this trident blessed by the Lady of the Lake at the very beginning, with her intelligence to foresee what, uh, what would have happened, Stone, with some amount of confidence after being struck by that clap once more, uh, his blood stopped boiling as much. He let the hate subside and, the, and that fury that rages him. It's still, uh, that still vac- uh, vampire, uh, that vampire blood that pulses through him. And he gracefully jumps up onto this mount, this very large, um, this resting place on this large stone, walks to the highest point as it swipes, Yig swipes at, swipes at King Arthur there, sticks that trident up as our keeper described, and brings it down with a slam, almost depending on how it goes, snapping, breaking the end of the trident with the strength that it came down upon, sending those rays through the very center mass of Yig between the wings, straight through into the ground, piercing the torso, the body, the very essence of this demonic-esque entity. And with the body of Yig laying on this ashen-covered <sighs> field, you look at Yig's head as you hear the last breath come out of it. You see his body begin to turn to ash and float away in a large gust of wind that comes through. You all three will notice that the lava begins to explode and cover the ashen field. Your only high point is the rock that Stone Haze is standing on, or was standing on. Question, Keeper. Yes. The portal that we all came through disappeared, correct? Yes. My spell, Create Gate, can I make a portal back to where we were? If you can sec- uh, successfully... Uh, cast it. Cast it, yes, you may. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hang on for a while. But I just wanted to know that for now. Okay. Um, so if you look on the roll 20 sheet, you are all located in the center as most of the map is engulfed in lava. All right. Mm-hmm. Don't haze. <clears throat> you put up a good fight. I'm you still in blessed. shock as a player. You are blessed with the power of the Lord. I and bowed. Also, to you. you know, whoever made that try and you have. I bowed. I, ba- I bowed to some. Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't know how much oversight the Lord has on a land like this, but I can say if it weren't for you, uh, last, uh, doing what it is you did, and uh, your outright enthusiasm your majesty and well taking him down a few notches well this rightly couldn't be couldn't have been done now how do we get out of here Uh, i want to look around and see if i can see a way out without me having to use the last bit of my magic (laughs) i'll do the same what's around us give me a spot hidden roll please Oh, sorry. Ah, hard success. 2455. So you will notice on each side um, there is what seems to be what was a bridge. 
the lava field was still surrounding it, um, but you can now see with most of the field uh, gone, you can see that where the bridge still stands. On one side, the bridge leads to uh, more uh, mountains and other uh, land fields that will take you on another journey through this mystical land. On the other side, uh, you will see this uh, door that has no red light and no flames. So, hang on. So there's a door with the red light and flames, and there's a door without. Um, so the door with the red light and the flames on the picture does not have red light and flames. It's just a door. Heard. It's not it's lit up. It's just a yeah. door. Yeah, it's not lit up. Yeah. Okay, so we look to our left and we see stairs. Okay, up to the door. All right. Um, if that's what we're seeing, then uh, lead the way, your majesty. This way. As King Garther falls into the lava pit and dies. Yep. <laughs> the um, idiot. I'm not Everybody have get fun. a break. <laughs> <laughs> Your Majesty, uh, I don't know if we need to go back with him if it's going to go back to where he was. We don't really need to be there. Where exactly is it both of you are coming from? Camelot. Camelot who? Yeah, okay. Um... Is that somewhere around Michigan? Sorry. What? It's Michigan. I, I got a couple cousins up hey. in Michigan. Castle. Okay, okay, so I will say this. Round. I'll say this real quick, and I'll let y'all finish your dialogue. In Britannia. Carly, if you want to cast that spell, you can. Okay. Or if one of you will ca cast a successful power roll, I will give you another option. But you have to do either one. I'll either, do the power roll. Either all three roll a power roll. Oh, wait, and all who, three have to All succeed? three roll a power roll, and one of you makes, makes a successful power roll, or you roll for the spell. Oh, let's just do a power roll. We want to go in as a as the team. There's one down. See, we're fine. Ooh, Lady of the Lake barely saving our asses. Right, I'll let you continue your uh, conversation. That was scary. Um, where, what is, where was it you were from? Texas. What's Texas? Uh, Texas around. ass. What is Texas? Texas? Right. It's it's it, it's one of the greatest states uh, coming from where I am. One of the best lands you'll ever you'll ever attend. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm right around. By the way, I know what Texas is. I, oh, you know what Texas is? Yeah, I know what Texas huh. is. Oh, right around Clarendon, uh, up in the Panhandle, near near it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, for sure. This Texas, you say, it's one of the great lands. It certainly is. Certainly, no greater is. land than Britannia. Ah, uh, well, you, it sounds like you haven't been. Texas. Mm -hmm. I recommend okay. to go sometime. I shall visit this Texas. We should see what's behind that door. Yes. Well, what? Your Majesty. You always got a place to stay. But first, we shall see what's behind this door. Wonderful idea. That was definitely your own. All right. <laughs> As you all jump to the other side, uh, across oh, yeah. the lava lake that is engulfing most of the surroundings, as you jump to the other side of the bridge, this dark opening that this large mouth of a gate uh, sits, not lit, but the Lady of the Lake, noticing the wind around her, notices torches begin to flare up, and the gate opening up into a dark red portal. Out of it comes a 40-year-old man, dressed in a red flannel, he has dark, curly hair with uh, a large mutton chop oh beard. Oh, my God. 40? Stone Haze. Who might you be? Arthur. Lady of the Lake, follow me. Who in the uh, Sam Hill are you? All right. I'll explain on the way. Please, follow me. I can get you out of here and back to your time periods. 
What is this garment you're wearing? We literally just go. talked to him. Come on. All right. All right. Guess I'm following. All right. Excellent. And everybody, uh, give me one more power roll, please. And this will help me decide the fate. And the fate has been decided. Yep, we're fine. As you all <laughs> enter the armor. portal, things go dark for you, Stone Haze. But it opens almost up, almost like an interrogation room. But it's you and Alan Pendragon. Stone Haze, you don't know me. <coughs> but in the future, you will meet me at a younger age. I'm going to send you back two hours for the events that fell upon you in Berlin. I ask that you save your friends, but remember my name. And when the time comes, I want you to make the right choice. Do you understand? Suppose the chance to save the two best friends I've ever made and, well, keep that dragon dead. It's the least I can do. And thank you for your help. I apologize if the portal make you made you sick. I've found that some people don't like it. But you seem to be a strong, healthy guy, and... When I knew you, or when I know you, you're about the same, so... <laughs> Curious exactly when are you from? Uh, 2021. Jesus Christ. Or actually, no, he'd be 40 years old, so 2061. <laughs> 2040 something. 2040, yeah. 2041. Yeah. I said 2041. <laughs> 2041. God, I'm going to be old as shit. Huh. Well. <coughs> Wait, you said Pendragon. Yes. Yeah. Jesus, you're everywhere. Yes, you knew my grandfather. I do know your grandfather. And you'll He's know my father. Guy. Hmm. And now I know you. Guess I'm intertwined somehow. I'll tell Wesley you said hey. Stay away from Hitler's bunker. Don't go there. Get your friends out of the city. If you go to Hitler's bunker, the same thing won't happen to you. But you will be captured. The Russians will find you after taking the bunker. And they will take you almost like a science experiment. Understood. Well, I'll take the word of the magic man in the sky. Stay away from the bunker. Can do. Again, thank you, Stone. Well, thank you. I think Anushka and old Pinky are going to be awfully happy. It'll be good to see him again. In years from now... <coughs> good grief. <laughs> About the cough. <coughs> In years from now, it'll be good to see you too. So, but I haven't changed too much. I'll do it then. Thank you, Commander Stonehaze. As you see uh, Alan Pendragon blip out. And you are brought back into one of the alleyways of Berlin. This is after the phase two of fighting the, uh, the Ditotans. You're heading towards this village center that's been bombed out. Next to you is <coughs> Eric Pinky O'Connor walking and Anushka holding up the rear. <coughs> huh. What is it? H how you doing, Pinky? You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? Oh, it's just, just curious. Uh, What's going on, Stone? <clears throat> listen... This is going to be a hard one to explain. And I can break it down, but right now we're standing in the middle of a fucking hot zone. All I can say is... <sighs> what 
We've encountered some weird shit. We know there's a Kraken. We know there's zombies. Zombies with swords for hands. Uh, we fought a ghost of Brutus. Oh, I forgot we did that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm holding a fucking trident. The point I'm making is weird shit happens and we meet weird people. And all I can say is we need to turn around right now. What? We still have a mission to do. We do. We do. But that mission, well, it's already been completed. What do you mean? I mean, the only way the three of us don't die in the next 90 minutes is by avoiding that bunker. What are you talking about, Stone? You're not making sense. Stone, we're in the middle of a mission. We are, we are. I, more than anyone, as a true Texan, one coming from the glorious land of the U.S. of A, would be happy to kill the Fuhrer. But that Fuhrer is frankly already dead. Hitler was a dragon. Sorry, what? Yeah. 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 Stone, look. Yeah. You you have to understand where we are coming from. You just I understand where you're coming from because around. I've been there. Okay. This is dragon. <laughs> If you're going to give away our location, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I watched the both of you die. What? Binky, you're... Binky. Let's just say you lost a lot of weight real quick. One of you, well, discarded everything below your waist. What? A Russian bombardment blew both of your legs off. Your entrails were hanging out like confetti. Jesus, Stone. Anushka, you and I... Strapped to tables. He was looking at us before he turned into whatever the fuck it is he is. But before he did that, he put a, well, what I can only reckon be probably a nine millimeter through the base of your skull. Frankly, I can't watch that again. So you can take my word for it. And we can receive one hell of a lashing or whatever it might be. Or. I'm I'm sorry, go ahead. (laughs) You can proceed towards that bunker. I may or may not go with you. And I'll end up as a science experiment, and the two of you may end up in the same fates you were in. So you're not going with us, Stone? Depends on how much you trust me. I'm going to kind of put my hand on each side of his face and look him dead in the eyes and say, he's telling the truth. Well, all right, I can at least call the bunker in, you know. We can at least call it in, give a solid location, and we could wait for backup. Wait, you said he's already dead, though. What do you mean? Let me break it down in the best way I know how. Pendragon. The way we know him is through Captain Pendragon. Pendragon is a hell of a line. Do either one of you know about King Arthur? He's the captain has told us about his lineage. Okay, right, because I didn't. Well, I met the son of a bitch. He's very enthusiastic. I kind of admire it. He came through a portal with some magical woman. She was half naked. It's hard to explain. She was casting lightning bolts from her fingertips. I think that was a weird dream you had, but sure. Sure, sure. It could have been. When did you have this dream? While we were walking here? No, he's... I don't know how to explain it. Alan Pendragon is the grandson of Wesley Pendragon. He found me along with this 
beautiful woman and this king in this other place. I, I can't explain it. He told me about the fact that I can save the both of you. I told you how you died, and if you want to experience that, I can't stop you. All I can say is that he verified if we do go back to that bunker, we won't find the fear. All we'll find is fates less than, well, less than profitable. Okay, 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 okay. Stone, look, here's what we're going to do, bud. We're, we're going to call it in, okay, and we're going to get you checked out by a medical professional. Does that sound good? Are you okay mm-hmm. with that? No, we are going to go tell the captain what he saw. I mean, yeah, but this is even far-fetched for us to believe. What makes you think the captain's going to believe it? Pinky, look at him. Yeah, I know, but, like, the captain doesn't know what he looks like on a normal basis, you know? Well, he's just going to have to trust us. I don't really give a shit about the captain. He's not the one I'm saving here. I still think he needs to be checked out. What if he's drugged or something? Like... We're calling it in. We'll go back. All right. Fine. We'll go with that. I am heavily drugged. We need reinforcements. And the best bet we're going to have is to call in a Russian bombardment. How about that? Yeah. I'll call in where the base is located and we'll start heading back. All right. Is that not how Pinky died? It is. What but are you talking about? <laughs> we were. Stone just told us that. I don't That's know what you're talking about. <laughs> now, hang on. We were Come pushing in, the front line. Where the base is, and we're heading back. We're getting out of here. We were in the heart of Berlin, and I highly doubt the Russians are going to bombard their own front line, surrounded by Fair. all of their troops. Fair. Let's get back. All A right. couple of hours right. later. Live another day? All right. All right. Let's do this. A couple of hours later after leaving the city heading back to the camp of the agents of KP. You're in the command tent with Captain Wesley Pendragon. You hear a large bombardment of an aerial assault hitting the city. Well, agents. Uh, well, Stone Haze, this news is very frightening. But strangely, I believe you. Frankly, I didn't need to need you to believe me. You'll believe me when we find out we can't hear from Fear much longer after this, I imagine. But right about now, if my timing is correct, both of my friends here would be dead. So thank you for understanding. Well, uh, we... Actually, cons- let me cut you off, Captain. Does the name Yig ring a bell? Yes. The creature known as Yig was destroyed by one of my great-grandfathers years ago, Arthur. Yes, it was. And it was glorious the way he did it. He said something about banishing the beast and something something about never, never going into that portal there. And he struck that beast down with that fancy sword I saw back in that tunnel way back when. There was also a woman there, half naked. Looked like she'd just come out of a lake. Oh, my. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It was... uh, it was interesting, but I figure you might know who that might be as well. I. You said lake. Something of the sort. I do have an idea of who it may be. I'll have to speak to her about it when I get home. Uh, agents, I'm sorry, but you will have to excuse me. I have other things I need to plan, but from now, from now on... For tonight, at least. Go get some sleep. You three look bloody awful. We did die, to be fair. 
Again, with the dying thing, I don't know what you're... You look great, Pinky. Thank you. Thank you. When you get home, what the hell? I got to do three more oil changes before I even think about going to sleep. But, yeah, I'll, I'll get some sleep out. Thank you. Or Wesley. Wesley. That, that sounds weird. I would just say Pinky. That sounds weird. Uh, good night, agents. Oh, yes, and Anushka. Once this bloody war is over... Let's you and I promise each other to go have a drink. How about that? Um, uh, all right. Good night, agents. Oh, and Captain, Alan says hey. I don't know who that is, but... That's all right. Good night. Good As night. the tent uh, cloth closes behind you, years from now... Many years from now, after the war has been dealt with, Hitler was found dead in his bunker by the Russians. Yig was destroyed, but Yig can always be brought back. Mm. The camera is high above the sky. This is North America. This is the northwestern portion, probably in the state of Washington, on a long, windy road. The camera pans down to a, a biker gang. <laughs> About ten bikes are traveling down this road, two by two. In the front, you have Alan Pendragon. Behind is Stone Haze. Next to Stone Haze is the bastard daughter of Captain Wesley Pendragon and Anushka Dragomir. And behind oh, them shit. is the rest of the agents of KP. Oh my god! And he all of the long, healthy life in a garage. Yes, he did. <laughs> and as the camera pans to one of the motorcycles, on the side is a decal that says Pinky's Mechanic Shop. <laughs> Blackout. And that is our final episode of oh Octon Cthulhu. Gosh. I hope Look everybody that. enjoyed that. <laughs> what an ending. What Look an that. ending. I hope that Damn. wrapped up some loose ends. I hope that brought joy to things y'all told me you wanted, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that I've been planning um, since the yeah, beginning. If, and I if thought anyone's dead, concerned so about the about Anushka baby, uh, no. yeah, the Anushka <laughs> Wesley Pendragon baby. I had this brilliant plan to insert one of my characters into the Hudson Hubbard Cinematic Universe somehow. <laughs> and I thought I was dead, so I was joking telling Hudson about it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Awesome. Well, um, uh, if anyone, uh, sorry, no, there's that, and then, um, oh, I've I've lost it now. But God, that that was wild. That was fucking. <laughs> that wild. was buck wild. Where's Georgia? Good job, Hudson. Good show, Hudson. Where's Georgia? Show. Thank you. I Good appreciate shit. it. Trevor, thank you There's for being a part of this. Yeah, oh yes. Yeah, Georgia. I had a great time. Thanks, Georgia. Dude, what a journey! Twenty-one episodes. Twenty-one that episodes. Yeah. Oh, when we fun. started this, my hair was past my shoulders. It was. And that was my first time sure ever being blonde. a keeper, so... Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, man. I hadn't started school yet. I went through an entire semester of us doing You it. moved across the country. I moved from Georgia to so Illinois. So did you, back? back well, yeah, Georgia, it was before. Back to Illinois. Oh, my gosh. No, I was still a brunette. I have not changed hair colors. Never <laughs> mind. <laughs> oh, man. Nothing's changed with me. Good story, Hudson. Thank you, Hudson. I Wonderful story. You. Well, I, you know, I'm glad y'all enjoyed it. I'm glad I had such a wonderful cast to play it with. And I'm so glad we had a wonderful audience that would come out and tune in every night. And if you missed any of these episodes, of course, you can find us on YouTube at Spot Hidden, where we are have uploaded uh, all the episodes under uh, the playlist, Octung. I do need to get out last uh, week's episode and tonight's episode, uh, but all the other episodes are out there. Feel free to just continue to watch those over and over. 
if you would like, uh, you know. <laughs> do you? <laughs> you do you? Uh, yeah. Might I suggest watching the first and jumping back to this one, or vice versa? I think that'd be quite entertaining. Mm-hmm. Um, but does anybody have anything they want to plug real quick before we go? Uh, initiative order stuff. I'm still doing that. Uh, we didn't do it this past week because it's bi-weekly. Wednesday, uh, this coming Wednesday, I'm going to be back for nicest contention. Very, you know, special sutter- subterfuge. I never know how to say that word. Subterfuge spying thing. I play a real southern little wizard and I like playing her a lot because I get to do this voice and it's just my voice pretty much, but a little no. bit more exaggerated. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's fun. Also, I'm going to be selfish and plug my own stuff. I'm also streaming on my channel at Curly Bug. There you go. There you go. Yeah. I don't care. Hey, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a streamer. You might I'm, catch I'm us in it. Monster Hunter or possibly yep. the, uh, what is it, Wildermyth? Wildermyth. We've been playing mm. Wildermyth. I streamed Wildermyth with Matt and London the other night. It was fun. And me and Matt fuck up some Monster Hunter every now and then. So. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Little Assassin, for being part of this. Yeah. Yes, um, thank you. Thank you. Well, excellent. Man, um, and thank I don't you. want it to end. I know. I know. But it has to. <laughs> All good things come to an end. They do. They and, do. Otherwise, it'll turn out like Supernatural. But that yep. is true. But yep. I did kind of leave it on a cliffhanger <laughs> that maybe, you know, later on we could come back. Um, but I do want I to <laughs> take a break from being a keeper for a little bit, but I do have some plans that I've talked to you all about. Oh, yeah. um, and I guess I can go ahead and oh, throw yeah. these out here, but uh, I am going to uh, start streaming on my own um, little platform uh, called Carbonized Productions. This will be coming up in April. Um, I might have a few things uh, start coming out, but it's just going to be everything that I love, every nerd thing you can think of that I've talked about, including Star Wars, Lord of the Rings, Rocky IV, uh, Magic the Gathering. I'm going to have up there. We'll still be in association <laughs> with Spot Hidden. Um, so, yeah, but I definitely know I want to run a Star Wars RPG. So hopefully we can have everybody back from this cast in that, and hopefully we can have London in it and everything. So it's going to be great. He's watching Critical Role instead of us right now. So. <laughs> oh, well, I just, yeah. I'm, I'm still processing, man, that, 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 that talk, <sighs> that uh, discussion to not get a Anush- to get Anushka and, and Pinky to just, it's sort of like, uh, the end of mass effect. Yeah. Uh, where like you have to make sure your team trusts you. <laughs> Otherwise they're like, fuck you. <laughs> Yep. Uh, that really worked out. Well, I'm glad y'all enjoyed this wild ride that was Octoon Cthulhu. And thank you again to Modifius Games, who created Octoon Cthulhu. And thank you to Chaosium Inc., who created all the Call of Cthulhu yes. uh, RPG games. And, and Modifius, thank you uh, for creating such a game that is taking such a uh, large uh, grand war. And in my opinion... It is one of the last wars that was ever fought uh, that is uh, clearly versus good versus evil. Um, Mm. And taking it with such respect, adding the Call of Cthulhu um, logo on it. Just thank you. Thank you so much. And with that, thank you to the audience. Thank you to my cast, my players. And until next time, we shall see you anon and stay spoopy, Agents of KP. Thank you, honey.